requirement of a good power system so here we are going to study about the power system operation and control so what is required the good quality of operation is required as well as the control is needed first one power system operation i have the responsibility to ensure the supply of good quality power whenever the customer demands okay so now we are very free to use the electricity it is our wish any time we can switch on the fan any time we can switch on the air condition we are free to use at any time and we are receiving a good quality of power this is a very very uh, important requirement of a good power system whatever customer demands we need to supply to that load demand okay so i am increasing the load in my house okay up to uh, certain limit Uh, during the summer season i am increasing the load so i am switching on all the air conditioning uh, units so that my reactive power requirement will be more so that power demand has to be supplied with a quality by the uh, utility company okay so this is a major requirement of a power system and power system should be able to supply ever changing load demand so as i said the load is not a constant one load keep on changing okay so now morning 9 o 8 o'clock 8 to 9 o'clock the load will be some uh, 100 megawatt for example and uh, Uh, 9 to 10, the load it will not be same as 100 megawatt. It may change. So 10 to 11, and now afternoon, after 1 o'clock, the load will be somewhat uh, varying based on the changing load demand. We need to provide a quality of power, and the power delivered to the customer should be economical and reliable. We need to provide the power with the economical and reliable. And the fourth one, while supplying the power to the consumer, the power system must satisfy the safety requirement. It is very much needed in the utility company. The power system can be operated at desired operating level by maintaining nominal frequency, voltage profile, and load flow configuration. So here the main thing is frequency and voltage. So in SLDC, State Load Dispatch Center, they are uh, closely monitoring this frequency and voltage profile to maintain as constant. whatever may be the load changes so that gives you the quality of power so that the power factor will be improved so this is a basic uh, requirement for a good power system and now power system control here power system control is required in addition to power system operation in order to run the system economically and to maintain continuous balance between generation and varying load demand so this point is very important to maintain continuous balance between generation and varying load demand so pg value generated power equal to power demand so this is a equation okay we need to control the power system in such a way that we need to match this whatever 100 megawatt we are generating the 100 megawatt is a demand means we need to generate 100 megawatt and supply to the load demand okay irrespective of the losses and all we need to consider those losses based on that you need to generate and excess power can be transferred to some other area and for that particular area we need to match this okay so this is a balance equation power balance equation generation is equal to demand so for that we need a power system control so there are so many control operations are there uh, main control operations are uh, frequency control and voltage control okay so main two things is two things are a frequency and uh, voltage and these are the hierarchical control structures the first power plant is there and along with the power pack, power plant will be having a governor and exciter control mechanisms are there so governor control is a very large unit and exciter control along with the governor control exciter control will uh, we can uh, control the excitation of the generator okay so by varying the field current how uh, there are uh, some methods to vary the field current uh, we need to vary the field current and uh, we need to control the excitation thereby control the voltage and governor control the speed control can be possible by varying uh, if the frequency changes we need to adjust the frequency and bring the frequency to the normal value by varying the speed so speed is related with the frequency by this formula ns equal to 120 f by p so number of holes is constant so frequency is variable so if frequency changes speed also get affected so you need to control this frequency and maintain the frequency as constant okay so for that we are going for a load frequency control okay in both the cases load frequency control it is uh, digital control is also there as well as the manual control two types of uh, load frequency controls are there and next one economic dispatch okay how we can dispatch the load in a economic manner will be controlled in a digital control mechanism we cannot control manually economically how we can transfer the power okay so if uh, we will be having some six units running continuously so i'm uh, all the six units are 100 megawatt unit so i'm requiring only 300 megawatt of unit okay so uh, my requirement is 300 megawatt so from unit 1 2 3 i can uh, give 300 megawatt or unit 1 2 and 5 i can give 300 megawatt so there are so many probabilities okay so 1 2 5 1 2 6 or 1 3 uh, 
5, 1, 3, 4. So, like there are so many prob probabilities are there. So, based on that, I have to give the power 300 megawatt of power to the consumer. And out of this probability, which is in economic manner, so that we need to find by so many methods are available. Using that method, we need to find and economically we can dispatch the load to the consumer that we call it as economic dispatch that is done by digital control mechanism and unit commitment we are committing one unit so out of six unit i am going to take only three units remaining three units i am committing okay which unit i have to left over okay which is uh, if i am using that particular unit for 300 megawatt of power then uh, it will be it is not economical then that type of unit we call it as a committed unit that is done by manual or digital control and next one system maintenance directly manual control so there will be some crew members and uh, they are taking care of the uh, system maintenance and the last one system planning so this is very important it is also manual control planning for the future development of the power system so from this load frequency control to the final system planning we call this as higher order control and the upper part is the lower order control okay like that we can uh, separate the control structure this is a hierarchical control structure of the power system. So, the two main quantities will decide the quality of power or frequency and voltage. Okay, the first one, the system frequency must be kept around the specified 50 hertz with the tolerance of plus or minus 0.5 hertz. So, that means we can maintain the frequency from 49.5 to 50.5. This is a very less tolerance value is given. But nowadays, in uh, even now, uh, in Chennai, they are maintaining a frequency of 49.9, 98, 97, so like that, very close to 50, they are maintaining it constant, okay, not, uh, they are leaving uh, up to this 49.5 and all, <coughs> they are maintaining uh, with the 49.9, under some uh, emergency cases, it will reach around 49.7 like that, that's all, okay, so like that, minutely they are maintaining the frequency as constant. And second one, the magnitude of bus voltages are maintained within the narrow prescribed limits, with the tolerance of plus or minus 0 0.05 per unit or we can say it as plus or minus 5 percentage okay so here the bus voltages comes into the picture the bus voltage variations in per unit 0 0.05 per unit plus or minus 0 0.05 per unit so usually we need to maintain the bus voltage as one per unit that is if the actual value is 11 kv and the base value is 11 kv then the per unit value equal to one per unit Okay, so this is a uh, good quality of power, 1 per unit range now. But the tolerance value is given as 0 0.05 per unit. So this is equal to, the tolerance value will be 1.05 up to 1.05 or 0.95. So from 0.95 to 1.05 is allowed for the voltage magnitude. Okay, within that if you can maintain, then you will be getting a quality of power. So voltage and frequency control are necessary for effective operation of power system. So need for voltage and frequency regulation in power system. So, as I said, it is very much needed for the quality of power and what are all the needs that we are going to discuss now. So, need for voltage regulation in power system. First one, variation in supply voltage are detrimental to electrical appliances. Supply voltage, it will not be a constant one. There will be some causes of over voltage due to so many uh, effects. Even if you are going for a switching operation, then there will be a over voltage condition at particular some instant so there will be some variation in the supply voltage okay and uh, it is uh, some uh, detrimental to electrical appliances that means uh, it is uh, harmful to electrical appliances so we need to control the voltage that's why we need the voltage regulation then second one for a specified power rating when the supply voltage is less the current drawn is more and it will give rise to heating problem if power rating is specified supply voltage is less the current drawn will be more so here v is inversely proportional to current the first case variation in the supply voltage over voltage condition occurs then it will harm it will be uh, harmful to the electrical appliances and the second case if voltage is very less beyond the prescribed limit then the current will be more and it will lead to the heating problem and third one electrical motors will tend to run on over speed when they are fed with higher voltages voltage is high then speed is more and over voltage may cause insulation failure vibration and mechanical damage to the electrical motors fourth one in transmission line the magnitude of voltage should be maintained at each stage within the permissible limit so that the quality of power can be supplied to the consumer some in some cases the magnitude of voltage will be a drop so we need to maintain the magnitude of voltage at constant level in transmission line the magnitude of voltage should be maintained at each stage so we need to place some compensating devices 
and maintain the voltage is constant level so that we can provide the quality of power to the consumer and fifth one due to the variation in the supply voltage the performance of the devices connected to the supply gets affected so if the voltages keep on changing then the equipments which we are connected to the system will get affected then if the excitation of the synchronous generator is adjusted below the permissible value it will lead to instability of the system so excitation is very important so you need to give constant excitation to the synchronous generator thereby getting a constant voltage as an output synchronous generator is an alternator so it will produce a constant output if you are giving a constant excitation to the field and if the excitation is goes below the permissible value then it will lead to instability of the system and uh, there will be some oscillation and if the excitation of the synchronous generator is adjusted above the permissible limit it will result to overheating so if the field current is increasing beyond the limit then the field winding gets heated up and there will be uh, burning of uh, field winding eighth one the voltage fluctuations will affect the reactive power flow therefore we need to regulate the voltage within the prescribed limit so as i said voltage is related with the reactive power q and v are related if you are using so many so much of reactive power load then the voltage will be dropping down so the best example is some inductive load Induct, uh, induction uh, stove or iron box or a water heater okay. uh, this and all inductive load if you are using more inductive load then it will draw more reactive power from the supply if the reactive power is uh, drawn more then the voltage will be dropped down that's why while we are switching on this inductive load you can experience some uh, dip in the voltage and in the case of incandescent lamp below normal voltage substantially reduces the intensity of the lamp and above normal voltage reduces the life of the lamp so normally we used to see incandescent lamp konja dim a irum low voltage kore kore dim a iriyum and if the voltage is very high then nalla brighter a iriyum but lifetime of the um, incandescent lamp is reduced so these are the uh, nine points needed for the regulation of voltage next one need for frequency regulation in power system so first one in ac motor the speed is directly proportional to the frequency and it's equal to 120 f by p therefore variation in the system frequency will directly affect the performance of the motor okay so the speed get affected so the performance of the motor get affected and second one the blade of steam and water turbines are designed to operate at a particular speed and frequency variation will cause change in speed this will result in excessive vibration on and cause damage to the turbine blades so this is in the steam and water turbines and third one if the frequency error is kept within the limits better control of overall operation of the power system is possible so we need to keep it in a limit that is plus or minus 0.5 hertz in the interconnected system the system a should have same frequency as system b so that it can be synchronized so as i said uh, we have divided uh, the overall power system network into five regions out of five regions southern region will be having five states and each five states will be having a state load dispatch center all the complete systems are interconnected system so if you, if i want to connect if i want to send the power to another area if i want to interconnect two areas then my frequency should be maintained constant okay so 49.9 hertz frequency can be interconnected with the 49.9 hertz frequency alone we cannot uh, integrate our system with other frequency components okay so we need to maintain the frequency as constant then only the system gets synchronized last one the frequency deviation spoils the operation of two system or a generator which which is going to be connected in parallel uh, transformers connected in parallel generators connected in parallel parallel operation of generator so you will be having three conditions one is frequency must be constant voltage must be constant and phase sequence must be constant while we are going for a parallel operation so there this frequency plays a important role so this are the need for frequency regulation in power system